Okay, so the sunshine outside is making me want to paint something nice and bright. So I'm going to crack on with this one. Now, normally, when I paint these sorts of things, I do bright and dark colours at the top and at the bottom, light in the middle. I'm going to switch things around a little bit today and start with the bright yellow at the top and see where that takes us. Right yellow at the bottom as well. One of my favourite colours, you can't help but feel cheerful when you see this particular colour on the canvas. Process yellow, very, very intense yellow. Personally, I love it. Now this size canvas is an interesting one because the roller doesn't really work very well on a smaller canvas. That's why I tend to switch to using a sponge instead. But I think this one, which is a 40 by 40, is just about the smallest size where you can get this sort of effect still to work. Some lovely, lovely yellow down the bottom here, just going around the camera feed there. Got a new demonstration camera, which is working out really rather nicely. A great fun online demonstration I gave to one of the WI groups last week. Great fun. And the ladies at the end of it, in an hour, have produced some really beautiful pieces of work. I think we all had a bit of a giggle at the same time, which was lovely. So there we go. Yes, you can see the intense yellow. Here, yeah, all the way around, particularly top and bottom. So now, this is where it's going to get a little bit more interesting. This is what I don't normally do. I don't normally put a darker colour in the middle. So we're just going to see how this turns out. A little bit of an experiment on my part. I just like to live a little bit dangerously with the colour. Of course, my policy is that if it goes wrong, don't worry, you can always start again, either by covering the canvas completely in white, letting it dry, and just starting again as if it was a fresh one. Or, in fact, if it's so disastrous that you feel you can't salvage the canvas itself to paint on it again, I like to turn them into a lovely textured canvas bases because that's always a lovely surface to paint on. Okay, so here we go. So I'm a dark coming across here, but not quite mixing in the way I would like. So I'm going to put a little bit more of this lovely yellow one. And hopefully encourage more of an orangey tone. the middle here. Could have gone straight in with an orange. Might have been a more sensible way of doing it, but who wants to do it the easy way? I find it much more fun to build it up as you go along and just enjoy it. We've definitely got a lovely orange coming across the middle of the canvas there, which is good. Not quite as dark as I'd like it to be, but I'll get to that in a little bit. So, first of all, I'm going to switch rollers to a clean roller that hasn't got the deep red on it. And work a bit more lemon yellow into this lovely area at the top here. Crisscross action being the key to this lovely sort of hazy contrast between the two colours as you get into the top of the canvas. Again, as I say, it's not quite working the way it would on a bigger canvas because it's not got the room to get quite as much blending involved. But 
I still rather like it. Eventually we're going to start with a far more intense colouring centre, but I want to just get these upper and lower ends looking the way I want them to look. There we go. Very nice. That's what we're after. More of a gradual. But no solid colour anywhere, particularly. Like this. This is how I'm wanting this to work out. I don't want any solid lines anywhere. So I'm going to have to come away a little bit there. A little bit of colour across from there down to there. Okay, so I'm feeling a lot happier about that. So I'm going to look back into you more intense red that I want. This is a caviar red. I probably really want a crimson rather than this, but never mind. It's the colour that I've got, so it's the one I'm going to be working with. It's rather a beautiful colour. Okay, here we go. Now, being very careful not to carry Look too far up into the orange. Just want a suggestion of this sort of red across the middle of the canvas. A bit further, maybe. Just a little bit. We can always reverse the step and add more yellow if we find it's too bright. Really rather nicely. I want to make the canvas feel that it's balanced, so I do want the energy to be maybe more in the middle region, higher or lower, just across the middle. It's balance using two rivers. I like to keep things moving. But I have to confess, I think this canvas is working out just the way I want it to. I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to stop it there.